But watch for the Beatles, they're ready to race like we'll go out, it's a random gap then to the green. Ah, oh, it's an even start, Lopenberg, but Arpin goes backwards, Faust on the outside, Speed's going to get the whole choice, but Speed goes tight, Faust goes round the outside, Stand there goes with it. I wonder if they've discussed that tactic before the start, Bucky. I definitely believe they discussed it. Uh, I believe uh, they probably are definitely giving each other room and they definitely talked about that. Um, being on either side of the grid is well perfect tactic. So it's yeah. a random draw for Q1, so it's basically done randomly by the computer. So VW getting lucky with those either side of the grid and, and basically managing to split that. So we're looking at the gap now then between Faust and Speed. So uh, at the end of this lap, we'll try and bring that to you. Faust, uh, the guy who's joking, Speed, look at the speed through that gravel section. This is serious commitment. Yes, he's very fast. He doesn't, he doesn't waste a lot of energy around these turns. He keeps it nice and tight. Typical Scott Speed fashion. And Speed, you were saying, had a different driving style to Faust, but those guys have worked together a bit like we've seen in the World Championship. Petter Solberg has worked with his teammate Johan Christofferson to merge their styles a bit. Yeah, they definitely bring the best out of each other. So what, do you just take the look at the data and take the best from each guy? I, I think it's out of frustration, probably. I think there's probably points of the track where Ch Tanner's faster and Scott's faster, and I think they finally agree that they, they need to change some things. So they desperately so. want to beat each other, so yes, that's the motivation so. you need. Faust is absolutely sending in the beat till Arping goes. Joker, Faust up the inside, you're on board with Faust now, watch the left hand side, Arpin comes around but he's got him, so Faust is looking good here to get speed for me, the gap yes. between them, because uh, Arpin was right behind him, Faust chasing down his teammate, he was the winner as I say, got top qualifier, I think he won uh, two of the four sessions at Silverstone, Scheider won one and Speed won one, so Scott Speed, He's going to have to joker on this next lap. He's going to come round top left of your screen. You can see the lap counter and you can see the speed hasn't jokered from the red line. You're following Faust in P2. The Beetle, quite a big car, Faust was saying. To the inside goes Faust. Speed's on the joker, but Speed's done it. So Speed oh, is out in front of Faust. Look at that. Only just though. Yeah. Super tight between Half them. Half a car. Faust is right up inside of the, of the rear of uh, Speed. Let's see the driving styles here. Let's see the different driving styles. Pretty, pretty similar there. You can, yeah, but you could. I know what you mean with the fouls coming from the drifting background, speed yeah, coming I, from the circuit background. Tanner will not be scared to send it in under the brakes. He's one of the best breakers I know. This is my favourite part of the track, just for the sheer commitment in between the barriers. But it is speed who takes it. Yep. Checkered flag for him at 223.3. So they're going around 10 seconds faster than the ARX2 cars are, which is considerably more than we saw during free practice this morning. At one point, the ARX2 cars were only six tenths off. By the end of practice, they were 1.6 off. It's now looking like they're about 2.5 off over per lap, because we've got the Joker in there to, to account for as well. But Speed taking the first ARX race here at Cota 1 from Tanner Faust, his teammate, by just four tenths of a second. Steve Arpin and Patrick Sandel, P3 and P4.